Prime Investigations on GraphicStar and Neo4j. Open the Project panel and under Category, select Location to pull in location nodes into the graph. Notice that you'll pull in several location nodes at a time. Then select the location nodes and expand upon the relationship to include crime events. Now go to the layout. Under ring, make sure that length is 0 0.01 so you can stack crime on top of location. Next, let's order crime by the date property and spread out by the z-axis. Make sure crime is selected. Shift crime nodes by z-axis to bring them on top of the map. Now that we've ordered these crime nodes by date, we're going to expand upon the relationship to include the investigative officers. We can navigate along the axis simply by right-clicking. Next, we're going to see which officers are investigating multiple crimes. Going to the Algorithm panel, we can select Degree under Centrality. A new degree property is added to these nodes. We can filter by that property and see which officers are connected to two or more crime events. Quickly, we can identify one officer associated with three different crimes across time and place. Then double clicking on the officer, we can pull in the properties and the neighboring entities for further analysis.